here. That's nuts. Spraying everything down. Yeah. And the iguana will come right out from underneath the tiles. <laughs> this little guy down. Come on down, buddy. Green Velociraptor. See it right there. Bright green and bright orange. You can grab them, make them your pet. You can kill them. You can use my garbage can. Whatever makes you happy. Okay. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> just calm down. My gosh, we just like woke him up from his perch. Calm down, big boy. Oh, no, no, no. There he goes. Nice second drag. Oh, he's running hard. Welcome to the Iguana Man YouTube channel. Oh, I'm your host, Roger the Iguana. I give a special thanks to FX Air Guns, the M3 power right here. These P air rifles, guys, able to use and eliminate some of these pests. What's going on guys, this is your friend Raj the Iguana Man. Thanks for checking out this video. Right now we're gonna be doing some iguana removal at one of the neighborhoods that I'm working at that are right next to the beach. Pretty big, maybe four or five blocks with a pretty decent iguana infestation. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. That's what I'm talking about right there guys, just a massive iguana, just moving. Look at that thing, looks like a little Komodo dragon. Oh shoot, he just took off. Iguanas are master escape artists. Dang, he's all the way over there that quick. Oh yeah, that's, that's a real game of cat and mouse. And just like that, he's gone. This is a strange theory, but I believe that some iguanas can actually jump in the car's undercarriage, maybe catching a ride in the suspension. Yeah, what I realized out here is you always gotta be ready. First iguana was spotted right under these palms. Probably just came out of his den to get some sun. Like many reptiles, iguanas like to burrow and go in hides to feel safe. Check out these exotic invasive iguanas. Incredible. I've been here my whole life and never once did I think that we'd be dealing with something like this. Even right here on the road, there's another one right here. Just a small one got hit by a car imagine if there was a big giant we got a couple of them right here you see we put out a trap but i don't think iguanas are going for that right now all right well we try to do it the nice way Put the trap right there for a live capture. Iguanas are stronger and smarter than expected. This thing can still be alive, even though we clocked in the hood. It can still be alive. Let's see. All right, no, it's not alive. All right. All right. And just like that, we have three for the bounty. Not seeing any in those trees. So the eradication is paying off. We're not seeing any in the trees where typically we would, but we are still seeing a few that are on the roof. And these little guys are actually living inside right the there. roof we'll go ahead snap a photo of that send that for the custody let's go see what's over here all right i'll be honest with you guys the main spot where these iguanas are coming from is a, is a church down here but we're trying to get in contact with somebody there but it seems like it's a little bit harder than anticipated we were able to get in contact and we're just waiting for the approval so stay right. tuned it's right above the water There he goes. And more than likely, he'll just get absorbed back into the ecosystem. A fish, a stingray, or a crab will devour that iguana. It's too fresh. It's too good. This is another area that we've been protecting too, this pond. These people have their own pet Muscovy ducks. The iguanas, they, they love coming here. But it's for these ducks. I don't know what these ducks are doing in here. They're like looking under water for something. Drop a comment and let me know what these ducks are doing. Why are they sticking their heads underwater like that? Look at that. What are you doing? Hmm. You just see a massive iguana. See Iguanas are becoming more common in the right mangrove here. ecosystem. And we believe that some native species could potentially be looking to try to eat these creatures. If only they can right, figure out a way. On them right here. Try to get them to dive right in the water. Oh, no, 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 there he goes. Nice taking drag. Oh, he's running hard. Oh, shoot, there it is. Oh, man. 
It'd be a really bad situation right here if he was to get ate by a shark. That would mean no bounty for us. There it is. Massive dragon. Perfectly camouflaged. You see he's showing off that deal out. You're all right, man. You're all right. In the bag. Since these iguanas inhabit the same areas as humans, it's becoming more common to have interactions. I see you're doing something with the AC or something. So he's got a water leak. I'm here to say where that water leak is coming from. I have been on some roof where I'm spraying everything down. Yeah. And the iguana will come right out from underneath the tiles. <laughs> That's nuts, man. Like if you could take them out before breeding starts happening, then you, you're doing a real good job at preventing and these iguanas from spreading. There you have it right there. Two dragons look like they're about to get into a duel. The reality of it is iguanas are multiplying pretty quickly. And with the upcoming breeding season, we want to try to get as many of the breeders out as possible. Give some of these homeowners some type of relief. Remember, one male can breed up to 20 females at once. And also, one female can have up to 60 two eggs. Two shots, two more iguanas. All contractors out here, whether you're doing landscape, roofing, AC, if you're in South Florida and you're doing that, you are going to encounter some iguanas at some point, all right? Oh my God. And out of nowhere, there was a massive iguana on my customer's bush. So right now I'm trying to figure out the correct angle and I definitely have to shoot down with my truck and those buildings in the back. So let's see how this goes. Success, a breeding pair removed from my customer's house. Got the female. See it right there, bright green and bright orange. It's the indicative sign that the breeding season is amongst us, my friends. It's definitely fed up of these green iguanas. I mean, it's an exotic pet gone wild and now, you know, residents have to suffer. You can see these guys have like netting over their bougainvillea. And Jessica from Iguana Solutions told me about this right here, this netting. It's very effective, it can work. Obviously, iguanas cannot get on the plant. So, if you guys are dealing with a bougainvillea issue or a plant that's getting devoured by iguanas and you can't see them, I recommend just throwing some of this net over it right there. You can stop those little guys from getting on it. And that's just nuts right there. It's just a massive iguana on that roof. We're gonna see if we can get that guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put in like, like scaling, like probably like silver scaling on the on the trees, like on the middle. Yeah. So they can't. Get okay, that's a good idea. And you can grab them, make them your pet. You can kill them. You can use my garbage can. Whatever makes you happy. Okay. Just get rid of them. <laughs> okay. Want some water rush? Oh yes, sir. As you guys can see, our customer is super cool. Unfortunately, there's no good angle to actually shoot these iguanas off the roof. So catch pull, all right, it's gonna be the way. The car. There he goes. All right. Yeah, we got him. Oh, whoa, he is feisty. Just calm down. My gosh, we just like woke him up from his perch. Calm down, big boy. Man, I think there's some kind of breeding season happening. Wow, look at that. Crap. He's trying to, I don't know what they're doing on top of your roof though, man. Go up there. Get a fair amount of them with the pole, just like that. Yeah, please. I got you. How many you want? Yeah, I got you. Thanks, dude. All right, guys. We just dethroned this alpha right here. Look at that. That's nuts. This guy's like the same color as the roof. 
It's just a massive, massive lizard. It's a male. Hey, but this is what I was trying to show you guys. The green underbelly going into that orange. Breeding season is definitely here. I definitely saw about four other female iguanas up there along with this male. Our game plan is to catch pole whatever ones we can and then leave traps for whatever ones that come out later. This will be an ongoing process, maybe about three to four visits. Completely remove them. All weeds, man. All weeds back here? Yeah, you can tell like the back. Oh, but yeah, they probably do like it. Are you guys restoring the pullback? Yeah. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I love the hospitality of our new client. You gotta understand, if you have iguanas on your property, at some point you are gonna have to spend time and money repairing some of the damage. It's not their fault. Iguanas are cool, cute, and intelligent creatures. However, they are invasive species and do cause an ecological threat in Florida. Incredible. There's a couple of them out there. Uh, he's not even putting up a fight. I don't blame him. He's just a little pipsqueak. Probably just hanging out with the bigger iguanas. We'll go ahead and bag this guy up. Easy bounty right there. You guys were asking, like, what do we do with, like, the small iguanas that we don't eat? Well, I'm going to show you guys. We're actually going to be using these guys for raccoon bait. And we have a job that is infested with raccoons. So we're hoping to put a bunch of iguanas out there, camp out there at night, maybe put up a blind, set up some type of night vision or infrared, and then see if we can take those silly raccoons out. A lot of food for these things to eat. Those berries they love. Got red ones, got green ones. People like shield right here on this tree. like fishing for an iguana so we're not sure if iguanas can make nests in trees it sure seems so we got the amount of lizards that can go up in there and then just disappear into nowhere All these right. guys are out sunbathing on the roof gives us an easy opportunity to try to get them get little guy down come on down buddy welcome to the iguana man youtube channel i'm your host roger the iguana man nice to meet you bud he's gonna try to go up that house yes you are oh oh Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Just keep tension on the little guys. Mm. Whoa, wow. This little dinosaur wants to bite. As cute as that looks right there, you never would want to get bit by that. It just would, you just never would want to. Reptiles and lizards in general have exceptionally strong bites for their size. They don't have to be that big. They can give you a real good walk with that bite. Wow. Look at him. He just goes back into rest mode and then straight into defensive mode. And flashes out that, that mouth and that dewlap. Incredible. Uh, green Velociraptor. Recovered out here in South Florida. Just imagine back in the day, this lizard would be worth probably $100 to $200 in the pet trade. $200 iguana. Now taking over Florida neighborhoods. All right, guys, well, that's a job well done right here, man. As you guys can see, no more iguanas on that roof. Got these really nice homes here in South Florida. We're by the ocean, and there are massive populations of iguanas. Territory is going to be expanded, and iguanas might be living on or around properties. Has no problem, as you guys seen, living on a roof like that. Uh, you have, you know, trees, you got berries, and, of course, you have the actual roof itself, which absorbs a lot of heat. It probably has some holes in there uh, for them to hide and burrow in. Right now is before the breeding season, so it was very critical that we got these guys before any breeding went on and potentially eggs were laid inside the roof. Not sure if they actually do that, but you just really never know, especially if iguanas have adapted to living in the roof and not underground, just because that might be the structure. In his eyes, that this house might just be a giant rock, you know, and, and the little cracks inside the tile might just be little little crevices that they go into. So he, he, he probably thinks it's just a giant rock. Silly iguanas don't really know any better, but we didn't want no eggs being laid inside there. So that's all settled. We will come back for a follow up video. So make sure you're subscribed with the bell on so you never miss a beat. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. I'll see you. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and you learned something. If you know anybody or anywhere that is suffering with an iguana problem, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be in the description down below. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. 
See you guys on the next video.